Look at these three groups of dots. How many dots are there in each group? If we look closely, we can see that each group is a square. In other words, the number of rows is equal to the number of columns. In the first group, the number of rows is 1 and the number of columns is also 1. So we have 1 times 1 which is equal to 1 dot. In the second group, there are 2 rows and 2 columns. So we have 2 times 2 which gives us 4 dots. In the third group, there are three rows and three columns. So we have three times three, which gives us nine dots. Do you notice any patterns in these three statements? Each number one, four and nine is the product of a number that is multiplied by itself. The product of a number multiplied with itself is called its square. So, 1 is the square of 1, 4 is the square of 2, and 9 is the square of 3. A square is denoted by writing a small 2 at the top right of a number. The square of any natural number is known as a perfect square. Since 1, 2, and 3 are natural numbers, their respective squares 1, 4 and 9 are all perfect squares. Are there other perfect squares? Yes, there are. We can form more perfect squares by finding the square of other natural numbers. For example, 4 squared is 16 while 5 squared is 25. So both 16 and 25 are perfect squares. Now, given a number such as 144, how do we check if it is a perfect square? We don't want to draw 144 dots and try to arrange them into a square shape. We do so by first writing the number as a product of its prime factors. The prime factors of a number are the prime numbers that you multiply to get back to the original number. We use division to find prime factors. First, divide 144 by its smallest prime factor, which is 2. This leaves us with 72. Next, we divide 72 with its smallest prime factor which is also 2. We repeat this process until no further division can be done. The prime factors of 144 are therefore 2, 2, 2, 2, 3 and 3. Next, group similar factors into pairs. 4 copies of 2 can be grouped into 2 pairs of 2. Both copies of 3 are simply grouped into a pair. Therefore, every factor is part of a pair. When this happens, we can conclude that the number is a perfect square. Let's try another number, 16875. Again, we find its prime factors. The prime factors of this number are 3, 3, 3, 5, 5, 5 and 5. Next, group similar factors into pairs. Since there are 3 copies of 3, we only have 1 pair of 3. 4 copies of 5 can be grouped into 2 pairs. Here, we see that this 3 is not part of a pair. When this happens, we conclude that the number is not a perfect square. Therefore, to see if a number is a perfect square, first we list down all its prime factors and then determine if all the factors can be paired up. If not, it is not a perfect square. 
Let's do an exercise. Is 784 a perfect square? Pause the video and try it out. The prime factors of 784 are 2, 2, 2, 2, 7 and 7. Grouping similar factors into pairs, we can see that every factor is part of a pair. Hence, 784 is a perfect square. In this video, we learned that a number is a perfect square if it is the square of a natural number. For instance, 9 is a perfect square since it is the square of 3. To check if a number is a perfect square, break it down into its prime factors and see if all the factors can be paired up. If not, the number is not a perfect square.